friends, welcome to Chrysalis Chats. My name is Tanya and I help people just like you transform their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. I'm so pumped to be here with you today at the beach. And today, by the end of this video, you're gonna have my top three suggestions for dealing with a non-vegan workplace. So let's get into it. First thing you can do is state your needs and just request that they provide you more vegan options to eat. So a lot of times in a work environment, you might have a banquet meal or a buffet, and you know, if they're not providing any vegan options, that's a little extreme, right? Because at the end of the day, who doesn't enjoy fresh fruit? Let's be real. So with that said, you can simply state your needs and you can request that they provide you, oh, there's a dog. <laughs> What's up with dogs in these videos? <laughs> but anyway, you can provide you know, just a request that they provide you with something that you can eat and also something else that everybody else can enjoy in that process, right? And I know some people might be a little concerned about approaching their supervisor or whoever it is that's in charge of this at their work with this request, but really friends, it's nothing to be worried about or concerned about as long as you're coming at it from a respectful place, from a place of mutual understanding that we're all humans here, we all deserve dignity, we all deserve respect, and just explain to them your dietary restrictions. And you don't have to explain to them in great detail. You don't have to feel like you're going into a monologue about why it is that you're vegan, or you don't have to lie and say you're allergic to cheese and all animal products. You can just simply say, you know what, I'm actually 100% plant-based in my diet. I you know, was wondering if you could actually incorporate a couple options next time into the banquet or into the meal. I would really appreciate it. And then go ahead and add that positive spin at the end that, hey, who doesn't like fresh fruits and veggies? Or something like that. You know, just to let them know that you're coming across as a mutually winning, mutually beneficial, like we're all in this together, we're all gonna win, we're all gonna succeed kind of person, right? That's my first suggestion. My second suggestion in that situation is that you share your yum. So maybe it's not so much like a banquet situation as much as it is a regular everyday situation where maybe for whatever reason your job's meals are provided or you're around you know, a, a specific menu or whatever the case may be. And what you can do in that situation is just share with them some food that you've prepared at home. Maybe it's just some really good fresh cut up melon. Super easy, super quick, super inexpensive. And all you have to do in that situation is provide it to them and maybe just plant a couple casual seeds like, oh yeah, you know, this plant-based diet is what's up. I love this melon, it's so good. Don't you think it's so good? I just thought I'd bring some in so we could all share in the goodness. You know, like very simple, kind of like sharing the yum, right? Spreading the good vibes, the good vegan vibes, the feels around a plant-based diet. And this is gonna go really far in terms of how your colleagues are responding to you. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna be like, wow, so-and-so, you're actually really cool. Like, thanks so much for sharing that with us. I really wouldn't have even thought about a plant-based diet. And you would be surprised. Very often, those same people who you felt you had to kind of convert, or not even convert, but just put up awareness about your plant-based lifestyle too, they're gonna be coming to you for recommendations and suggestions and support, because that's how it works. I promise you, it will probably happen in this process. The third thing that I recommend is if you've done all this or you're just, you know, you're not feeling it and it hasn't been successful, what you can do is just have a backup plan for yourself. Maybe you're in the same situation. Yeah, you can bring your own lunch or maybe you don't know, you're going into the banquet after you've made this request, you're like, maybe they will, maybe they won't, maybe it will work, I don't know. Just bring a backup plan. Bring something that you have that is shelf stable that you can have in your bag, in your backpack, in whatever you have in your car that you can eat in the event that there is nothing for you to eat. And that's kind of like the last case, you know, worst case scenario, but it does happen. Let's be realistic, it does happen. So it's a good thing to have on hand in general, even if you're not plant-based, just to have a snack, you know, on hand that you have access to no matter what else is going on in those terms. So have a granola, you know, a couple granola bars, maybe some uh, packaged kind of dry nuts and seeds, you know, or dehydrated fruit, even better yet you know, without any sugar added preferably, but whatever the case may be, you know, some trail mix, whatever you have available or want to make available to yourself that is plant-based and shelf stable to where you can just have it on hand as a plan B, okay, plan backup. So that is pretty much all I had to say on this video, friends. Please let us know in the comments down below if you've had any challenges or issues dealing with this as somebody who is plant-based. 
I just want to give a big burst of gratitude to everybody who's been liking these videos, subscribing to the channel, putting comments down below. It's really been so inspirational for me and I really appreciate you. So thank you so much for doing that and please continue to do so. You can check out Chrysalis Chats on Instagram. I put up daily content there. We're also on Facebook and you can see my website, chrysalisandcocoon.com. With that said, friends, whether you're just a baby caterpillar starting off, like where are the leaves at? Or a full-fledged butterfly already sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet. You, my friend, are awesome. May your metamorphosis grow something beautiful and have a blessed day.